Hey, hey, what's up guys? So today I want to talk about another one of my favorite Maya tricks and that is the symmetrize tool. So most models, 90% of models are going to be symmetrical in 3D, maybe 99%. Especially when you're doing characters, you need a model to be symmetrical on both sides. So here's an example of topology that is clearly messed up. You know, sometimes in the process of making a model, maybe you're in ZBrush, maybe you forget to turn on symmetry for a second. You get a little bit of these kind of like, you know, these spikes and these anomalies. And if I take a look at this in transparency mode, stuff like this happens, right? So how do you fix that? Because that can be really annoying. Maybe at the last minute, just before you submit, you notice little mistakes like this. This is exactly the kind of thing you encounter. So what we're going to do is it's really important that you have one side of the model. So for example, let's say this side of the model is the one I was really focusing on. It's nice and clean. Topology is good, all that stuff. And I want to copy it over to the other side. Now, a lot of people will be like, yeah, you just go down the middle, right? We're going to go through, delete that half, mirror it over and then weld the middle. The problem with that is that you actually are changing the vertex IDs when you start slicing the model up. I don't want to slice the model up in this case, especially when you're in production and like you're near the end, you do not want to be changing the vertex IDs because that comes into play with blend shapes and all kinds of stuff. So don't change vertex ID, don't cut the model, don't delete faces or you know delete uh, points or vertices or whatever. So instead, we're going to use the symmetrize tool. And so what this requires is that, again, one side of your model is going to be the side that you want to copy over. So in this uh, in this case, her left side, our right side is good. You also need their other requirement is that you have a, a midline that is running right down the middle. And you want to be you want to be true to that uh, so that it's not off the middle. It actually is, in fact, dead center in the middle of world space x axis. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to Edit Mesh and we're gonna go to Symmetrize. But before we do that, we need to select the good half of the model. So I like to do this in the front camera, nice, no, no, no perspective or anything. And we're just gonna make sure that we actually have the proper half of the model running down the middle. So you're gonna pick all of this and really you wanna focus your attention on the midline. You're not too worried about anything that's not in the midline. When faces get really small, you need to get in there and really make sure you're not selecting the other half. So I'm just gonna continue going through selecting half the model, okay, exactly half the model. Once I have exactly half the model selected, I'm gonna go up to edit mesh and we're gonna to go to symmetrize. And then it says select a mesh edge for symmetry. Obviously we want this middle edge, I just simply click and bang, it copied over all of that good side onto the bad side. So we you know before we had these kind of these spikes, these messiness inside this, this part of the eyeball, this is always one of the trickiest areas right here where it presses against the, uh, the interior lid, eyelid presses against the eyeball. You gotta watch out for that. And all these mistakes and all these problems are now gone and our model is fixed. So that is the symmetrize tool. Again, this is mainly used for when you wanna copy one side of a model over to the other without having to slice the mesh up or break it into pieces because that can introduce problems that'll change your UVs. The symmetrize tool is very non-destructive. It doesn't change the UVs, it's very nice. So uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite my tricks. Stick around for more.